Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have right here with me the new Kia Seed SV uh, Estate Tourer or Combi, the way you want to call it, depend where you are in the world. And I'm happy to review it for you, to show you the interior, exterior, uh, and I try to show you as many details as I can. So... Um, I'm really really happy to present you this car because it has indeed a very good price and also uh, great technology and a lot of space in the interior even these nice LED lamps and the fog lamp down here I don't know how they do it but uh, the fog lamp look fantastic even even if there it's a normal bulb light uh, the light, the yellow light looks super nice. So we have the Kia Seed uh, SV here. We have 100, uh, 30,000 franc is the price. A new car, 30,000 dollar, around 28,000 euro new. This is a new car. You have to think about that. And I will show you in a moment at this price what kind of car you get because the price is super good for what this car can offer for example here we have the led lamps that they look super nice uh, you have to see it in real they are really beautiful uh, on the video it's not looking so nice but in the real it looks super nice we have the brake light up there um, also a super nice shape here for aerodynamic, uh, this spoiler looks super nice, and this black glossy plastic around here uh, made for a better uh, aerodynamic, and also give the car uh, a nice style, sportier style. We have back camera in this money. Also, uh, we have also the seed logo here on the left. Um, here it's something that. Um, uh, on the side they insert they put this insertion of plastic you know like an exhaust uh, like kind of diffuser air diffuser and it looks super nice we have back sensors uh, parking sensors in the back as well there are, there are only four <coughs> not six as in other cars uh, also we have a chrome design here we have the reverse light uh, also, uh, the reverse light look very nice. And uh, actually the car is not bad. The design is not so bad from the exterior. Also, you can add some extra trunk uh, up here uh, if you want to carry more luggage. Uh, the doors, the, the windows look nice. This chrome around the windows look very nice. The windows are big. And you have great visibility from the interior. Uh, you can also see the complete car right now with the windows. Uh, something that you can improve to this car if you change um, the wheels, it will look much better. Uh, these wheels are a little bit smaller right now because they, they put some e economical tires. If you can see uh, eco tires for a better economy, for a better consumption. And those are very good. If I buy this car, I'll totally keep this uh, for me because I like an, the car to consume less energy uh, than to have a bigger rims and uh, nicer and consume more. So it has 16 inch. I have the 16 inch on my winter tires as well, and I have great consumption. But if you change the rims, the car will look much, much better with the bigger rims. But anyway. Uh, the handle is simple, normal, um, also the mirror as well, simple mirror, uh, nothing, uh, nothing fancy there, like blind spot technology or something like that, it's just uh, normal. Also the shapes of the car are simple, nothing complicated down here, we don't have any plastic to protect, it's just the paint, uh, all over the edges is just the paint. And classic uh, design but in this price what you can expect uh, here we have a camera that can read the speed the, the speed limit the traffic sign and also help the car to stay in lines in the lanes between the lanes they they have a, a nice um, 
um, alarm for uh, lane assist. Also, full LED lamps in the front, day LED light. They look like a Porsche a little bit. If you see in the Porsche, we have the same design. Down here, it's a bulb light. But this bulb light look very fancy. It feel like it's look like an LED light, like a yellow LED. Here is the front grill. Very simple and very typical for Kia. Uh, the front of the car look nice in my opinion. Uh, the car is not bad at all. The design is not bad. I tell you, with uh, another bigger rims, the car will look. Uh, much much better you can see the shapes are not bad the shapes are nice um, I think they, they did a great job with the design opening the trunk so we have electric um, not not we don't have electric lift gate we have a protection for the trunk and the trunk is actually huge and now I show you my favorite thing about this car is that you can load everything flat here great job and it's huge huge space two lights we have two lights inside here uh, and a lot of space in the left and the right look how cool is that they make it like in a house you have closet close it like uh, you have a closet here and then in the other side they arrange it so good so you can open this and put something there but everything looks so clean and so so uh, empty you know and under those things you can put stuff so the, the trunk looks super clean so you can see here how cool is that you open this it's very deep it's super deep the first one is super deep there something like a model 3 tesla model 3 and then you open the other trunk uh, like close it you have to close it here you can see like you put your clothes here in your closet uh, it looks super fancy how they think to organize all that stuff and you have another one there So you don't have a trunk you have a closet here and I like that it's super clean for the people that want everything to be arranged and When you want to put all the stuff in the in their place uh, So it's quite cool uh, anyway something that I love it's this armrest two cup holders uh, also, I love the fact that you can you can fold down all the seats uh, and it will be flat. So I will show you in a moment. Uh, if you fold down the seat, right now it is flat and you have a lot of space down here. I like that. I like that you have a lot of space here uh, where the legs are so you can put there some stuff too. You can even sleep here in the car. It is a lot of space to carry mobile and many things. I'm really impressed with this Kia seat. The price is super good. I like more the design of the Kia Pro seat, but this Kia seat at this price it's super nice. The windows are big. If you can see here, you have great visibility. We have some plastic here on the back door. Um, only here we have soft material, fabric material, and here soft. Uh, over, uh, the upper part is with plastic. Also the speaker as well, and down there a small space for storage. Let's put down. Let's put back the seats. Uh, here we have also fabric material, so no plastic at all. Some storage. Here we have only plastic in the middle. So you can see uh, no vents, nothing. I like the fact there it's a little step. This is a mega extra plus. Going inside the car and immediately see that this pro seat, uh, this Kia seat has a lot of space on my knee. Uh, I can even put my legs under the front seat a little bit and I have a lot of space. Uh, again, great, great job. Uh, my head space is huge again, huge space in the seat. Tourer, so seat SV, uh, station wagon, or um, the way you want to call it, Tourer Combi. The visibility is fantastic. Handles, light here. Uh, also, going in the middle, it's very easy. Uh, staying in the middle, it's as well. 
uh, good. You have a lot of space, even with the legs together, kind of. Uh, my space on my head, it's it's huge. No complaining at all. Great job, Kia. If you did a great job with that, even three people can sit here uh, with no problem. So, um, great job. What can I say? Uh, I like that. And I like the price as well. I like many things about this car. But now is the final. I go in the front and I want to see the dashboard. The quality of the interior in the front. Let's see it. So here the, the window. I like it. It's from one piece. It's great visibility. Great job. Now plastic here. Not so plastic. It's soft material. So if in the back it's plastic here in the at the driver, it's it's soft material. It's a rubber. We have fabric material here, really impressive, all over the space. Also, the buttons are simple, nothing complicated. Some chrome design on the door, light reflector, some space, and uh, um, yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, here we have manually adjustable seat. The seats are not leather, they are fabric material, but they are nice. They have this side support, super nice side support, uh, really great. And they are kind of comfortable, those seats, I I'm, I'm really like them. There in the middle you have this center armrest there from leather. This is leather, actually, really impressed me how they put this leather here. Pretty cool. And then we have a space there where you can put your stuff. Uh, without any problem. Now, let's go inside the car. I like the, these uh, carpets with seat. The pedals are normal. Also, we have manually handbrake. Uh, I just want to close these lights for a second and then show you the rest of the car. Down here, we have the lights and the lane assist uh, uh, alarm. Here we have the vents. The vents are super nice. We have rubber here on this wheel. Wow, impressive. They feel so good quality. Great job. I like those vents. Wow, the dashboard, it's leather. Wow, really impressive. Speaker there, leather here. Also here, wow. Here it's also the same, same leather. Great job, Kia. Wow, great dashboard, good quality. I don't like this uh, cock cockpit. <laughs> It's so old, this cockpit. Uh, I don't like this old. I want something new, like uh, digital cockpit. Uh, the steering wheel, although it's super good. And also, these buttons here really impress me. They are like Mercedes. They are great quality, the same like on Mercedes. The new one, if you see my videos, you see the Mercedes have the same gray buttons here. Um, Pretty impressive, pretty impressive. I like the quality. I like the steering wheel. It is good quality. Also here, the vents are good quality. They look nice. We have the navigation system in the middle there. Good position. It. Uh, it's great position for the driver to see it. I like it. I don't want to open it to go into detail with it. I just, just make an extra video for that. Down here, you have the buttons for shortcuts for a multimedia system. You also have the blinker. Uh, down here, you have the climatic system. You can adjust it very easy. Also, heated seat, heated steering wheel. Buttons are down there. We have one 12 volt port, auxiliar, and two USB ports. You can see there. Pretty awesome. I like that. And the space down there for your phone. Um, really impressive in this price. The car is ready for 2019-2020, this century. So the buttons down here are really good positioning. I kind of don't like this handbrake. I wish I have an electric one here. Two cup holders there. Uh, and that's the car. The visibility is good. They make a great job with the dashboard. Uh, you can see also in the back I have great visibility even if this car have a back camera as you see it before uh, you still have a lot of good visibility now the mirror it's also nice and you see very well in the mirror up here we have a glass space uh, we have this uh, light bulb light 
no LED, even here, mirror, light, uh, great, great, great job. Not bad at all, uh, the quality of the roof, it's okay. Um, and yeah, not bad, not bad Kia, great job, price is good, uh, car is nice, uh, not bad quality, uh, a lot of good technology, um, and yeah, it's a car that you can take into consideration. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you didn't do it. Um, check out my other videos on my channel, and I wait you soon with the next car. So, bye, guys.